what is your name? <laughs> Speak out, what is your name? I cut her. You cut her, show us. <laughs> show us, why do you want to cut her? <laughs> why don't you want her to be loved? My, my, my. What have you done to her family? <laughs> Why do you want to kill them? Separate them. Why do you want to kill them and separate them? Because, uh, you give I her give alcohol? her sex. I give her nothing. I give her things. Speak out. How did you enter her? <laughs> alcohol. Through alcohol? <laughs> You made the greatest mistake by allowing this woman to enter into the arena of liberty. Your time has expired. It's time for you to go right now in Jesus' name. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out of her body right now. You spirit of death, you legion, out of her in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Boost your grip right now. Boost your grip. Boost your grip. Fire all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire right now. That's right, you're leaving. Burn right now in Jesus' name. You're leaving. That evil spirit that has been tormenting your life is gone in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Thank you, You can see truly, thank you, Jesus, is the response of a happy heart. Jesus Christ is in the business of restoring families and restoring lives. Come on, let's give it up for Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Can you guys please help me welcome Alexis as she comes up to the stage to testify of what God did for her yesterday. Come on. Hi. I am so excited. Thank you so much. Alexis, would you please uh, start with sharing? How was your life like? What are the challenges you've been facing? Why it led to this deliverance? Um, I was battling with alcohol addiction. My family, well, my dad and my grandfather. So it's been a generational curse. I feel like the enemy has tried to keep me in that bondage. And so um, the alcohol led me to holding on to a lot of anger that I was keeping inside instead of giving it to the Lord. It led me to um, harming myself. It led me to depression. It led me to even sexual lust. And there's just a lot of things that the alcohol was putting me through and helping me cope with the depression and the anger. Um, but I'll, I'll tell you right now, not no more. <laughs> Come on. See, we, we can clearly see that the enemy is against us. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy people's lives. But the Lord is so good. He brings us freedom. He gives us deliverance. He desires to set us free. And she's an example of that. And Alexis, uh, what were you experiencing during your deliverance? Um, I was experiencing a lot of... Well, first of all, when I actually... Uh, before I came, now that I'm remembering, I had uh, texted my mom because she was like, "Are you are you ready? We're you know it's almost time," and I had told her like, "I don't know. I don't feel like my I feel like my walk is weak. I've been running away from my Bible. I've been running away from my Bible studies, and I I, I don't feel worthy enough. I don't I don't feel like I sh I'm prepared to do this." And she reminded me, "You don't have to be prepared. God wants you to come broken." busted and disgusted that's what he wants and those words of encouragement it it made me okay you're right and I came feeling shameful I came feeling broken and um, when I came up here I actually wasn't going to want to come I almost wanted to turn back around again and this heaviness came over me and this this heat I felt like when I closed my eyes like right now I could see the light through my eyelids but at the moment, it was pitch black, dark. It almost felt like you could see like this weird phasiness through the darkness. So there was something there. But 
the heat, the heat on my hands, the heat on my feet, the shakiness, the heat on my, on my head. And it almost feels like something's like grabbing your voice box and just squeezing you and you just want to scream. And I had so much anger and I didn't realize that there was so much anger bottled inside of me. But now that I look back, it was the alcohol. Every time I was upset, every time I was depressed, here I was drinking and putting it away. And it was getting bigger and bigger until it finally it let it out. And last night definitely was a whole different experience I've never experienced physically. Physically, I've never experienced that. Wow. How did you feel right after your deliverance? Did you feel the release? And how are you now after yesterday? Um, I actually feel so much better. I, well, I came and I felt really emotionless. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, empty. And then afterwards, I felt like a kid again, like a smiley, bubbly, laughy, hey, like I felt like Alexis again, you know, the, the goofy sweet Alexis again. Come on, let's give it up for Jesus. Wow. That is so awesome, Lexi. We are so happy for you. This is amazing. And lastly, would you please share a word of advice for people who might be struggling with addiction or self-harm, hatred or anger or things like that? Um, don't, don't feel ashamed. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't feel like you're not worthy enough to get that help. Because for me, I kept using that as an excuse. Don't wait another two years, three years. By the time you know it, 10 years passes by. And you could have had that fulfillment of that joy and that peace. And just, you know, just feeling the Holy Ghost make you bring out the person that he called you to be. So... Don't ever feel ashamed. I'm very grateful for the people that I have in my life, my brothers and sisters um, here. I'm grateful for our pastors here as well. And, you know, especially my mom, she's definitely been my prayer warrior that's pushed me when I felt like breaking and falling again. Come on. Come on. Wow. What an amazing testimony. Thank you so much, Lexi, again. Love you. Thank you.